the fish tank guys store here in Philadelphia. We got some new adopted turtles I just got in last Friday. Um, male and female. This is the female right here in the front, and that's the male back there. They're chilling in the Baskin area. They're still a little shy with me. That's why you see the male about to lunge inside the water. There he goes. It was chilling on this turtle topper under this Baskin light. Loving their new home. 40 gallon long tank filled to the top with two 40 gallon filters, heater. Oh yeah, they're living their life in this tank. But thanks to one of my customers, one of my Instagram followers, uh, Kimberly, for donating these two turtles to me. Actually, uh, I, she bought them for me, I believe it was last year or so. And I've had them for a good while. They look awesome looking. I mean, the shell looks so clean, perfect. They look very healthy looking. She was definitely taking care of these. They were definitely her babies, so to speak. But um, this is my latest adoption, two radio sliders. This is the female right here. Short claws in the front. And that's the male right there. Long claws in the front. And yep, my latest adoption, these two red ear sliders. And then, um, this past Sunday, I adopted these two Tiger Oscars right here. They're about mm, five, possibly six inches long. Um, yeah, I adopted them on Sunday again from another one of my good customers, Angel, also following me here on Instagram as well. Angel already has bought three fish tanks off me, so... He has a, he bought a 55 gallon, 120 gallon, and very recently 155 gallon bowl front. So good customer here, great customer here at the Fish Tank Guys store. And today, Tuesday, new fishes on Tuesday. So I get my, whenever I order new fishes, my fish deliveries come on Tuesdays and I go my new fishes that are acclimating right now. Wow, look at all these bags. Look at all these bags. 55 gallon aquarium, um, I'm sorry, 55 gallon community tropical fish tank. Um, but got a lot of new stuff in. It got painted glass fish. Um, I think these are assorted mollies. Um, let me see, what else do I spot? What else do I spot? I know I got some uh, fancy tail goldfish. Uh, I got some more black moors. Um, uh, sword tails right here. First time I'm bringing in assorted sword tails. Um, ballast sharks are in these bags. Um, I'm trying to think of everything that I ordered new. Um, Kisser fish, kissing guami fish. Um, what else? Oh, brain fart. Anyways, moving on along. Over here we have baby Oscars. Uh, a lot of albinos came in today. Um, and then here are maniguins. Everybody pronounces them manganese, but it's spelled maniguin or jaguar cichlid babies. They're a little bit over an inch big, about an inch and a half. And then over here in my African cichlid tank, I got more spotted, pick this spotted catfish. Um, what's in here? These are yellow labs in here. I don't know if you can see them. There you go. And over here, no, these are the yellow labs. Oh, these, these right here, first time I got this fish, can't see too well through the bag, but these are albino erratus. I never had an albino erratus before, so I'm pretty excited what they're going to be looking like. And then I got some Alonocara peacocks. And let me see what else I got here. Oh, these are Asian algae eaters or Siamese algae eaters. And I got some blue uh, yellowtail Aussies. Right there, and there's something else. It's back here, is it? Um, those are the pictures. Oh, here go the bag. 
these oh go some more clown loaches oh, these okay yeah i'm bad here okay more clown loaches and that seems to be everybody that i got um let me see if you can see them i just took this fish out of my personal tank look back there him that is a malawi or malawi eye biter male so he's going to color up really nice when he gets bigger um i've had him for about a year now and he is pushing five inches big but it was getting super aggressive in my 120 gallon uh, adopted adopted fishes so i got an assortment of a lot of stuff in there and they're predominantly all adopted this guy was getting too much of a bully and kind of like just pissed me off and so now he's for sale so inquire within so to speak but um he has my so if you can see them down here he got my two silver dollars pretty beat up not beat up but i don't know if you can see their lips but their lips come on cock block and goliath goldfish <laughs> But if you can see the um, silver dollar lips, they're injured looking like as if they were locking lips, fighting with somebody. And um, the culprit, I'm blaming that Malawi eye biter. They're known to be bullies like that. I don't know how good you can see those silver dollars back there. So this tank is my soul fish holding tank, so to speak. And um, the feeder goldfish just a little story for you the feeder goldfish are actually feeders that i bought for an alligator guard that i had about a month ago but the alligator guard got sold and the customer that bought them is not feeding them feeders he got them eating pellets and so i got these feeder goldfish left over um but anyway i just got them in this tank i, I don't know what i'm gonna do with them i you know but anyways in, in the meantime um, I put my silver dollars down here, give them a break from that 120 in case anybody else in there was bullying them, which I kind of doubt anybody else, anybody else in there would have, would have been, excuse me. So anyways, they're, they're down here for now on a timeout, so to speak. Hopefully their lips will heal back. I, I feel bad for them. Let's we can get, um, trying to get a close up on his lips. Yeah, they're kind of bruised up looking, kind of reddish looking. Um, top lip on that one looks like oh I hate to even imagine it but it looks like a piece got bitten off anyways I'm you know I just feel sad for them and I'm trying to get them to heal up and get better in this tank you know no one to hear it about them so to speak so anyways that's the little story right there for you um, over here hiding a little bit let me show them to you the green terror got him i adopted him five weeks ago and i sold him the same day i got him i got him wednesday morning and sold him late wednesday afternoon and i've been babysitting him for the last five weeks uh the customer that bought him good customer of mine um his tank wasn't ready he had some other fish in another koi's in another tank and you know i i don't know i said usually green terror is a pretty you know aggressive fish so they might they might bully his koi's that are about five six inches big so i suggested you know put him in a different tank so he was acclimating a different tank and then he bought four nice size oscars that i had a few weeks ago that i adopted they were like about 10 inches so then they're in another tank and then but uh, he's supposed to come today and take the green tear and what I call Goliath the goldfish. So, anyways, in this tank, this is my 120 gallon tank. And um, a lot of fish in here were looking kind of distressed looking. Like my African leaf fish, all three of them were bunched up in this corner earlier, which they never ever bunch up like that in the corner. And again, I suspect the culprit was that Malawi eye biter so took him out right quick out of this 120 gallon tank and I could have put him in my room divider tank with my African lung fish I could have put him in this tank and I was so so tempted I would have hated to see that 
I would have hated to see him become filet mignon for my African lungfish. And I was tempted to put him in my window tank with Bubba. Let Bubba teach him a lesson for being such a bully. But then I would have to take out all these albino tinfoil barbs and these baller sharks and put them in another tank. And I didn't want to keep moving them around. So anyways, Malawi Eye Biter 